In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use highlights, core shadows, and cast shadows with a single color. You can use colored pencil or crayon to create the illusion of form or three-dimensional space. Just as a reminder, when you're considering the object that you want to draw, if it's something you're observing or from your imagination, you need to think about the source of light. So in this example, the source of light is in this upper left-hand corner. It's shining down and hitting the highest point of the sphere and creating a highlight. There is some shadow on the sphere or circle itself. And then there's a cast shadow, which is the darkest um, value that we have. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to consider the top left-hand corner as our source of light, and I want you to follow along with me. I'm going to start actually with a pencil, just very, very lightly drawing a circle. And I know that's barely visible to you, but that's a good thing because it means I will be able to cover up my lines. Now I'm gonna go back with my colored pencil and very lightly kind of outline that circle shape. And I'm gonna be mindful not to do any heavy outlining and I might even not do any outlining at the very top where the highlight's going to hit. So it's better to just do soft, repetitive outlining so that you don't make it too dark. Right? I also want to consider the shape of a sphere. So the way that I'm coloring it, shading it, is needing to match the shape of the object because straight lines across this are gonna look very flat, but a curved line is gonna create that illusion that it is three-dimensional. So I'm gonna start right here at the bottom because I know that that's the area that has the least amount of light, and I'm gonna kind of add in that there's gonna be a little bit of a shadow in front of the object, and then the shadow coming behind it will be really dark and then fade. So I'm just kind of marking where I want those pieces to be. And now I'm ready to go ahead and start to darken up this bottom side. And you wanna lighten a little bit on the, not quite to the edge because when a circular object has light shining on it, it's gonna have kind of a little bit of a glow on the farthest side. And you are able to control the color, the value, with the pressure and the number of marks that you make. So more tight marks are gonna be darker. Pressing harder is gonna give you darker color. And pressing lightly or making your marks more spaced out if you're choosing to use like cross-hatching or stippling will make it also appear to be lighter. So I'm just going in right now with some marks to show that this object is round. And I'm being careful not to really make any over here because I know that that's where I want my highlight to be. Right, notice this is really gradual because I don't want to overdo it because with color pencil and especially with crayon, it can't really be undone if I go too dark. So start light and build the value. I'm gonna come in here and add this little cast shadow underneath. And I'm pressing really hard. I find it helpful to have another piece of paper underneath my paper so that I can really press hard. And as the shadow moves away from the object, it will start to lighten up too. All right, so I'm pretty happy with my shadow there. So I'm gonna keep going back and add some more core shadow to the sphere. Notice the way I'm making my pencil move. I'm matching the rounded shape of the object. And you can just keep going, building the value with repetitive 
mark making. I'm gonna come back in super duper light up here. Because in reality, this highlight wouldn't be bright light, but it would just kind of fade. So the, the light here versus here, this light might be a little bit stronger if it's more faded out on the top. That might be in some bright sunshine, maybe. All right. So I'm kind of liking the way that looks right now. If you want to kind of smooth out, in a previous video I showed you how to blend. You can use tissue wrapped around your finger, you can use a Q-tip, or you can just use your finger. So if you wanna smooth it a little bit, you can take your finger and start to smooth to blend it some. If you want it to be kind of a more gradual effect, and less choppy. And that is how you can use a single color and build values that go from the darkest value in the cast shadow, kind of a medium dark value for the core shadow that's on the object, and then very, very, very light value, that's still purple, but it's super light, to create the highlight and always remembering our source of light so that our highlight and shadow are in the right spot. And that would just be the opposite if the light source was coming from the other side. Then the highlight would be here and the cast shadow would be behind.